Hey, what's happening, FTD fam? We go to Speaker's Corner again. This time, we have a clip of Muslims challenging a feminist from America. I don't think we are that jealous. just jealousy equals sexism. I think that just society has so many aspects of it right. that makes everyone sexist. Everyone has been raised to play with toys that are... The Do you want little boys playing with dolls? Yeah, That's what you really by, by the way, <laughs> by the way, they weren't raised. Well, they were chips, we did it with chips. They weren't raised like that. We put a baby chip boy and a baby chip girl. One chose a truck to that's roll, true, one chose a bill. You can't say, sorry. oh, chips, you've been sorry. sexist sorry. all your no, life. Sorry. No, I'm no, not saying you're right. if you choose to play with one or the other. I'm saying if the parent gives one and assigns that to the other. You didn't assign it, the baby chose I'm not, it. Okay, that that's the is thing, you bring the parent. I'm saying that is a certain I am saying that if, if, if one thing, if one child chooses to play with a truck and he's a boy, but if a boy chooses to play with a doll, then society will look down on him for that. Hmm. Okay, okay, go ahead. Why should that be? I don't think that any society should look down on a, on a man or a woman for choosing to do something that is assigned to the other sex. But I mean, is it not true that like the whole agenda is changing between men and women? We're becoming much more equal. Women are taking over positions of power that they never had before. So now in order to sort of back all that up, you've got to accuse us all of being sexist. Like, like really, this is all part of something much bigger. In fact, like we are, we're different, but we're trying to work out new roles. Because to be honest, men were too dominant for too long. Now women are liberated, and so there's a whole I new world here. Liberated. I think that people are starting to realize this, but they're not moving fast enough. But no, no right. it's like liberated. one thing is radical feminism and radical thinking like that. But when you're thinking about this stuff, you really have to think about evolutionary terms, and you I... have to acknowledge that there are sex differences, not in everything, but there are, and we cannot live like like everyone should be gender neutral for the whole of the life because that's not normal. And I'm not saying like it's it's just, it's just not normal. It's something that's What's normal to you though. Were you it's raised not to normal. think that that's normal? I'm not. I'm, I wasn't raised. If you were put in a cave a th tens of thousands of years ago, you would do different things than men would do. Just because we have like biological sex differences. And I'm not saying that like intellectually we are like all um, like different. I'm just saying that like your biology is different. So we cannot just say oh everyone is the same because mm -hmm. that's not equality. I'm not saying we are, everyone we, we should, should be we the should, same. We should like we should reach for equity, not equality. I don't want to work the same as his, I as him, because we cannot live the but same. But you should the have the way. choice. To. Yes, yeah, she does though. She chose she not to. Not everyone yeah, has the choice. Yeah, you're becoming an engineer. No. Like she chose not to. She can't. Right. Very so not we live in the West. Everyone here, especially Sweden, which is one of the most gender neutral countries. <laughs> I said especially Sweden, the West. Uh, the West. Very the West. Sexism always asks questions. It's always seen that once you say sexism, it means that women are getting somehow treated badly. What about men when it comes to sexism? I mean, are we not sometimes caught up in roles? Are you not sometimes keep trapping us in roles? We don't want to be trapped. Hey, I is think that, that not true? Mother is I'm the misogynistic guy over here. Yeah. Oh, what people are saying was misogynistic. I just women always want the man to put out the trash. Where, where does that That's come That's not from? true. That's sexist, That's sexist to think huh? of everybody like sexist. <laughs> Yes. I ain't putting out any more trouble. Oh, I don't want to go. Okay, that's it. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> All right, that was a little fun discussion there. Just look at, uh, you know, sexism and feminism and gender roles and everything. So a few viewpoints were highlighted in this video. Uh, one about, you know, the biological differences that male and female have. You know, I don't think anyone's going to dispute that, you know, anatomically, uh, uh, chemically, there, there's differences between uh, male and female. So that there, but what was brought up by the, the feminist woman was the idea of assigning certain gender roles, like what is a boy's toy, what is a girl's toy. And when we do that, we kind of 
start to raise people to think that this is appropriate for a guy to do, this is appropriate for a woman to do. But in th those cases, it may not necessarily be so. Like this is a man's job, that's a, a, a woman's job. And, or the, the man should work, women shouldn't work, you know, things like that. Assigning it, it's kind of, in many cases, very limiting. However, there are instances where you can't change certain things. It's like the fact that I can produce sperm to get someone pregnant. I, you know, that that's just how I was made. I didn't have a choice in that. But if I want to, you know, choose the color of my computer case, casing for my computer, it's up to me. You know, if, if I go, normally I like blacks and whites for coloring. But if I was to choose a pink color, let's say for instance, uh, I might get judged for that because pink is assigned as a girl color, but it's not necessarily so. Pink is pink, it's just a color. And I think that's what she was speaking more so towards. Uh, but then she did say though that everybody has been raised to be sexist and all of that and it that may not necessarily be true because you know that's painting a, a picture on everybody it gets a, such a blanket statement that is not necessarily accurate and you could see that there's a lot of people that even in the, the man that was uh, uh, speaking uh, the British man he's, he was saying that like you know what about men like you know things that are said towards men that sort of trap them in particular roles you know we got to address that as well and it was brought up that yes uh, there's been leaps and bounds with uh, you know female liberation uh, a, a lot more opportunities in life because yes I don't think anyone would dispute the fact that men in many cases in many aspects of life were dominant and would suppress the woman. Now we're seeing more women liberated, being able to choose their professions, being able to choose how they want to live their lives, um, how to raise their children, just having more of a voice, more of a say in the world, you know, that is changing. Uh, the feminist in the video said that it's not moving fast enough. Well, what would be fast enough? I think the main thing that I took from this video is that we as humans, whether male, female, or whatever else you want to identify as, we still have the ability to choose. And based on the society that we live in, based on the, the culture, based on uh, the religion that we're part of, or based on the lack of religion that we're not a part of, whatever choices we make, whether it is related to gender or not, there's going to be consequences. And it doesn't mean that you can't make that choice, it doesn't mean you can't choose. And that's one of the great things about being human is that we have a choice. Just unfortunately though, there are going to be certain consequences that may not necessarily be warranted. Like in certain communities, if I go outside and I'm wearing a kilt, people would judge me, look at me funny, maybe make fun of me, call me names, and they may say, well, it's justified because I'm dressing like a girl, a kilt is for girls only. But certain other societies, Scotland, Ireland, and places like that, kilt is perfectly fine for a man and nobody would even think twice to make fun of you. So it, it's really, you know, things like that, it, it, it's really unfortunate that based on wherever you are, there may be consequences for what you choose based on whatever is determined to be male or for female. End of the day though, we still have a choice and uh, that should be something that nobody should be robbed of, the power of choice. All right guys, so that's my two cents on this. I'm curious to know your thoughts. Let me know down below in the comment section and I'll catch you in the next one, later.